Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands and a Radio. Today we have, I'm super excited about this one, uh, the little tap on the door this morning and it was the uh, uh, postal carrier, had a package from Amazon and a, a uh, supporter of the channel, Bob, sent us a Texan PL606 to look at and uh, sent a nice note with it. Thank you so much, Bob. I really appreciate this. Um, this came off of the Amazon wish list, which is at the bottom of the description box. And uh, every once in a while, he surprises me with a package. And uh, he has not failed with this one, that's for sure. This is, I'm so excited about this one. It's a really cool radio. And I think it appeals to, to me, there's there's two two different camps out there of shortwave listener people that like to turn knobs and people that like to have uh, automatic search and let the radio find everything and i think this radio really caters to both camps um, it doesn't have a direct entry keypad it's not to fear um, this is this is they've thought about it so well and there's ways around all of it and that's what uh, this could be a lengthy video and uh, anyway let me get the the focus on the box here hopefully and not the old barn we're back at the uh, office finally a nice spring day well let's tear into this because we do have a lot to talk about on this one out of the box we've got it comes with a uh, uh, long wire uh, antenna that we can hook up it does have an external antenna jack we plug this in and string our wire up to wherever really helps out of course we have the Texan branded earbuds which we yeah we won't talk about that we've got something else in here and this is what caught my eye with this Get ready for this little little ditty. I don't think we're going to try to put it on today. I've seen Hamrat 88 struggle with this. <laughs> but it's a novelty little idea. You can make your antenna, however much longer that is, um, you can add length to your antenna. You take this neural knob off here and put on the radio antenna and then put the sleeve down on it, then slide this radio, uh, the antenna down onto the radio antenna. When those two sides touch, you lock it back down and it makes your antenna even longer. This, however much longer this was. Cute idea and, and a cool idea, but I think it makes the radio top heavy and makes it really hard to store because you've got this going to be sticking out of the radio like this. And, but I, uh, we're not going to do it today, but I wanted to show you at least that's uh, an added feature inside this, this radio, inside the box here. And a cool little idea. I don't know that it's the, I don't know why I wouldn't, if I was going to all that trouble, why don't I just clip this wire onto the antenna and extend my antenna out that way? I don't know why I do this, but it's cool though. And, and you know, we're all about the cool factor here. So let's get into the box. See what else is in here. Let's put some of the other stuff that's going to blow away in the box. And that way, hopefully, it won't get too carried away. It is a pretty quiet day, though. We've got a nice sized manual. And that is, trust me, it's, it's, I can't stress enough that radios like this, if you just pick it up, and and say well i'm going to go with it you need to read the manual to figure out how to move around with it and it makes life so much easier so that's great to have of course it comes with the texan branded pouch kind of a felt flavored pouch very cool i always love these little pouches and then here is the radio itself excellent little size it's very this is uh the 606 is very similar to the 380 
Uh, it's about 11 or $12 cheaper than the 380. Uses the same chip as the 380, but it doesn't have the direct entry keypad like the 380 does. And like I've said, that's not a problem. With Texan, that is not a problem. Uh, could be a real nightmare with some of these other radios. Texan has it really well thought out. Let me reach in my notepad here. I've got notes from everything. Now I have notes in my mouth. That's not good. And uh, see if I can stick this right there without causing too much havoc. And I can have something to look at. It is a cute size, three by five card size. 5 inch by 3.22 and it's only 1.1 inches thick uh, just the perfect travel size I'd read a comment where somebody takes a, a 3 by 5 3 by 5 card plastic case that holds your cards and they just drop this in and that's what they travel with of course we got the handy what was it called let's see yesterday it was called a carry attachment loop is what this is called Instead of a, a wrist strap, it's called a carry attachment loop. So that's what we got there. Got a nice size display screen. And on the front, uh, looks like the same size speaker as a 380. It's about, oh, three inches or so. Maybe a little bigger. Uh, we've just got very, not many buttons to this. And they all, uh, they some of them are dual function a time alarm uh, so it has an alarm clock with it that's a 24 hour clock uh, fm stereo when you're listening through uh, earbuds and am bandwidth so we can toggle through oh five different bandwidths i think on this display function memory function uh, delete key to, del to delete your memories the big one here is the etm button easy tune mode and that will scan Whatever band you're in, it will scan and store those uh, stations that it finds. It'll store it into a temporary memory. It won't overwrite any of the, the hard programmed in memories that you have. I think it has up to 550 memories. So, that, I mean, that's more than plenty. Uh, but ETM is very, very handy on this and really important, I think. VF is, is for frequency mode, VM is for memory mode. What that'll do is turn your tuning wheel into either frequency or go memory channels then. Power button, and then of course your medium wave FM and your short wave buttons up or down. And so there's that. On the right hand side we have a nice tuning wheel, it's indented. Very nice feel, just like the 380 really. And uh, volume knob indented also. It's not uh, the other one I looked at yesterday was a, a really thin chip-like wheel that would cut into your finger. It turned stiff and would cut into your finger. Where this is a thick wheel that won't do that. The back side we've got our kickstand and place for batteries. Might as well take two AA batteries, so we might as well toss some batteries in while we're back here. that out of the way and get our handy rechargeables out here. I had so much stuff in my pocket today. Been over at mom and dad's for a few minutes and they have pieces and parts of this and that and need help with this. And I got all kind of pieces and parts in my pocket. Let's drop these in. Bring some life to this thing. Life to the party. So there's that. On the right hand side, we have our external antenna jack. Unlike the 380 that doesn't have the, the antenna jack, this does. Very handy. Uh, there again, it doesn't, you know, it, if you don't have an external antenna jack, just clip it onto the antenna itself. I've got a video about that. No big deal. We got, we got a way around everything. Headphone jack. And our USB here to charge our rechargeable batteries. Very cool. Wrist strap, get out of the way. Thank you. And let's see. What else do we got? We got an antenna that, that swivels. Uh, we'll get it up in the air here. 
and just like the 380 when it's on its stand the antenna is not perfectly straight up it's better than some I would like to see it straight up but that's just just my own personal preference and uh, if it gets really really long and that's that's where that extended antenna on the end of this if you put that up there then you're having to have the radio way out away from the wall to keep the antenna from banging into the wall and stuff and it it's nice to have that straight up in the air just and that's just me no big deal but uh let's just quickly take a look see where it all starts with turn him down here our display there's our temperature I always like the temperature for some reason but we can display signal to noise ratio uh, alarm time temperature regular time I like temperature for some reason and I guarantee it's not 74 degrees probably 74 degrees in the truck and may, well I don't know now we just put batteries in it, so it probably that's where it starts and it'll get colder, I, I'm going to guess. Let's just work backwards here on the FM dial just to get an idea of what it sounds like. This also has, I'll turn it down for copyright issues, this also has the tuning wheel that if you spin the wheel fast, it'll tune fast. And if you slow down the tuning wheel, it, it'll slow down to just one, one, whatever that is, 0 0.01 megahertz at a time. Or if I go real fast, it just zips right along then. So that's very cool. That, that kind of comes in handy. Let's just set it to another local station here. Just get some idea of the tone of it. It's awesome tone, as always. Trying to see if I remember all the... Now this, you could also use the easy tuning mode and zip through. Open this jar. I'll take care of it. Uh, honey... It's got a 30 step volume on it, and we're. Now you can book an 13 is loud enough for me. This is an Indianapolis station that doesn't come in all that well, and it's. it's There it is. I suppose the temperature, I've got the sun shining right on it, and that's heating it up. Well, that's enough of that. Let's go to medium wave. Like I said, let's go to medium wave just see what we can find here I don't expect much two o'clock in the afternoon I don't expect much there's Cincinnati like I said I just don't expect much during the day there's our local station there's Indianapolis station let's go up see if we can find the there's the Seymour station so it I got a great uh, just like the 380, the, the AM broadcast at night, fantastic on it. And uh, no worries there. But let's look at our short wave. I think that's what everybody's after. And we can skip through the bands using our, our up and down arrow. Here's 15 megahertz, WWV. And our, let's see, our frequency range is from 2300 to 21950 kilohertz. 
23 megahertz to 21.95 megahertz. Um, and from here, this is where you could just tune around and do your, you know, you're looking around for 15140, Radio Havana, Cuba. You could go up to 17.6 something. Let's see if I can get there quickly. I'm not sure what I'm looking for either. 17.6 something. So we've got our filters from six, three, two, one filters. I kind of like three kilohertz. So that's that's how we can get around. We can get around the. Uh, we can get around the direct entry keypad. Is just use these shortwave up and down buttons. Quickly tap, and we can go to 31 meter, 41 meter wherever we want to go. Now we can also search, uh, let's see if we use the, I got to look at my notes here on some of this. Um, if we use the down button, it'll search just inside the 31 meter band. And if we hit the up arrow, it'll do everything. But if we go to easy tune mode, and that's what I wanted to really check out, I have used, on these, on Texans especially, I've used the easy tune mode more than I use the direct entry keypad. That's why I'm, I'm just not afraid of it anymore. And I used to be the other way around. I used to be, guys, it doesn't have a direct entry keypad. You know, I uh, twist knobs and, and direct entry or whatever, that easy tune stuff, all oh, that, no, nah, that's, that's silly. It's gotten so good that that I like it, and I like to be able just to come in, hit a button, and that easy, it's going to scan the entire shortwave, whatever it is, whether it's AM broadcast, FM, or shortwave. It's going to scan all of that, and then I use my tuning knob just to go between the different memories that it finds. And let's see, so it just stopped. Of course, it, it may fool me yet, I don't know. This is the fun of just out of the box because then I... <laughs> I'm never quite sure where I'm going. And let's see, this also does have long wave on it if you want. Uh, you hold the memory button down. I think it's a long press on the memory button. Yep, 10 seconds and it kicks. It'll turn the long wave on. Here in the U.S., long wave there is just not very much here at all. And uh, But you have that option. It's defaulted to off. You can turn it on if you want. Uh, I've rolled through it before and there's just never really anything there. Uh, might find some public service stuff maybe uh, just such hit and miss for this for this exercise we're going to leave it off now you can see where it's already found four stations I don't know what happened before it just kind of went and stopped and uh, so we've got long wave and I'm just trying to think of what else I can say as this thing searches it doesn't take very long to do a whole search uh, long wave our scans to do to do oh and also you could uh, to get away from the direct entry keypad you could use your your hard-coded memories the memory button and stations you could set up memories where like 2300 would be memory 2 3000 would be memory 3 4000 would be memory 4 5000 would be memory 5 and you go to that particular memory wherever you want to go. 11 would be, you know, uh, memory number 11 and so on. Just go to that beginning and then you've only got to spin through, 
you know, that 1,000 section, if you understand what I'm trying to say, I, I'm not sure that I'm making a lot of sense with that. But you can, can narrow it down as tight as you want to go, and you can kind of customize it using the memories. You can customize it to, to make it easier for you for not having a direct entry keypad. But this is what I like to do out here, or especially with shortwave, FM and AM, I have no problem with just turning the knob and, and listening to what's there. Um, those bands are short. If you get into the shortwave end of it, the band is, is so large that, you know, you'll, you'll be a long time turning the wheel uh, and propagation changes so fast. It can change 15 to 30 minutes. Propagation changes. And the stuff you found 30 minutes ago is gone. And what I like to do is is maybe I'm at a state park. Maybe I'm out here at the office. Maybe I'm wherever. All those locations will have three different results of what I can get on shortwave. Why not use the easy tune method? And just hit that one button, let it do the work for you, and then wheel through and see what it found. So now it, it says it's done. And you see, then we can just turn it up. We can hear what it finds. Found a lot of stuff at two in the afternoon, that's for sure. There you go, there's WWV. Who would have thought that it would have found WWV? And people say shortwave dead. And there's WWV again, what we started with. Rito Havana, Cuba. We do not work for him, no. My land, this thing just, just blows me away. So if you would like to ride here. 17640, I think that's where I was headed. There's 21610. I never get anything at 21 megahertz. And that was the last, that was the last thing that it found. Now, how cool is that? How amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, if you had, if you'd also said, well, I know at, as an example, I know at 21600, uh, there's a, a station at 21600 and this radio skipped over it and I know it's there. What you can do is you're on 21610, you can go from there, you can go into the VFO mode and drop it right down and okay there's the step well it skipped that station see and even though it didn't but i'm just using that as an example you can get it close with what it finds and then drop down onto a, a station that you you know is there uh, a lot of times wwv is so weak that it doesn't drop it into the to the memory it, it skips over it and i think it's because of the the, the spaces in between the talks, so the talk, 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 and that space in between, if it scans and it hits that dead space right there, there's nothing there, and it keeps right on going then. But this picked up fabulous. Picked it up just fabulous. This is amazing. So, with that, man, what a radio. Uh, for its price range, easily 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 give this an eight out of ten uh i think the the 380 the more i use it the more i use the 380 
I think that reading even goes higher. It's the same way with this. I can just tell already. Sensitivity on shortwave, two in the afternoon, and I, and I can't, I know I've, I've said it two or three times now, and I can't stress it enough. Two in the afternoon, we shouldn't have gotten diddly out here. I should have been very little, that's for sure. I would, six stations at the most, and, and at the most, and this thing was just on and on and on and on. You don't get any better than that. I mean, you absolutely do not get any better. And uh, what a beautiful radio. Absolutely love it already. This is amazing. Yes, it doesn't have a direct entry keypad. Is that a negative? I guess. Uh, you just got to work with what you got. And there's a way around it. That ETM function is so good, you don't need a direct entry keypad. And, and I'm here to tell you. So, with that, thank you, Bob. Great gift. Absolutely great gift. Your generosity is, is something else. And uh, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to share this with everybody else. And uh, that's all I got right now. I think I'll, I'll go poke around in that old barn over there and see if there's anything in there and uh, see what's in see what's here at the office. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. Welcome to all the new subscribers. That number seems to be going up and up and up. And uh, I, I don't take enough time to welcome everybody and welcome to the new viewers. And, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate, appreciate your support, that's for sure. And if you would like to help support the, the channel, uh, just like Bob did, there's a, a link down in the description box where you can uh, look at my Amazon wish list and you can send a gift that way. Or there's a link uh, through PayPal where you can send a monetary gift and all that money turns around to buy new radios and, and just to give more content to the station, to the station, to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have any scripts here. <laughs> All righty. So, what a beautiful day. We're ending the weekend on a glorious day. And I'm standing in a mud puddle. Now, that's dedication. I'm standing in a mud puddle to review this radio. But I, I just so desperately want to get back outside with these radio reviews. And we've got a lot of neat things coming up. Hang on to your hat. I got a box full of goodies. And, uh, I think we've got some neat stuff coming up. So with that, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you at the next review.